Is leaving the house worth it in 2024? Let's find out. Hey, welcome to a very unrealistic day in my life where I leave the house because like, I be sitting at home. I feel like I used to always want to be outside, especially during the pandemic. Like for any reason, going to Target, going to the club that was portrayed to us a whole different way as kids and now is trash. Going out to eat, like I wanted to be outside. But then once I actually started to do that, I realized going outside is just ghetto. Like outside doesn't have my cozy blanket. Outside doesn't have my comfort bonnet. It doesn't have my favorite TV shows like where are the pros? All I'm hearing are cons. So we're gonna put it to the test. Unfortunately, the only things to do in LA are get coffee, eat food, shop, and if all of that didn't absolutely drain your social battery and you still have something left in you, you might end up doing some random activity and then call it a night. So <laughs> let's see how long we last. Mm. Come on. The plan was to go to the Yeasty Boys truck by Alfred's Coffee, but tell me why we accidentally pulled up to the wrong truck location? <coughs> Google Maps will pay for the emotional distress of not knowing whether or not my overpriced LA coffee will taste good. Was it worth leaving the house? Cons. The pain, agony, and disappointment of not getting what you were looking forward to. The public was public king. Like, making a coffee and bagel at home sounds so much more cozy than sitting two inches from strangers this early in the morning. The downfall of the plastic straw has ruined everything capitalism was good for. Pros. A coffee was hitting. I got an iced Americano with orange vanilla syrup. Okay, citrus era. The bagel was packed with flavor. Packaged locks will never hit as hard as fresh off a bagel truck. We somehow got a parking spot right up front. Um, normally you have to sell your soul and be in cahoots with a parking meter dealer for a good spot. So, worth leaving the house score? 7 out of 10. We took a little pit stop to take some photos, but tell me why we got catfished by this photo location. What are these Ozempic stairs? Why are they so skinny? <laughs> Was it worth leaving the house? Cons. The location looked cuter online. I wouldn't call this a photo location, like it was literally just a staircase. The road to get here was even skinnier than the staircase itself. One-way roads are an abomination. It was literally in between two people's houses. Um, imagine people pulling up to your front yard all the time because the internet told them it was a cute photo op. Jail. Pros. The picture is still eight because one thing we're gonna do is work a camera with a cute outfit on, okay? There was a man playing his guitar and singing from his balcony. I almost dialed up Simon Cowell myself to come pick up this prodigy. There was nobody there besides us, which makes taking photos a breeze. I felt like the only living girl in the world. Worth leaving the house score? Five out of ten. <laughs> That guy Fietti <laughs> yeah. yeah, where he at? <laughs> we were planning on shopping. 
well, window shopping at a flea, as well as going to a vintage store, but the flea closed an hour early today. One thing about online shopping, it will never betray you like this. Was it worth leaving the house? Hans, how am I supposed to pick up a pair of jeans for 30 seconds that I know I'm gonna put down and walk away from when the flea is closed? All of the cute furniture at Debris reminded me of the fact that I don't have my own living room to decorate yet. A shame. I know somebody's granny had to die in order for all these cute clothes to end up here. But I know she'd be happy about how cute her dresses look sitting on that rack. So, pros? The cleanliness and aesthetic was the perfect balance I am looking for when window shopping. Vibes on 10. In another life, I would have bought up every single Guy Fieri style shirt they had. However, I am working on impulse purchases. They had soaps and candles that when deeply inhaled, smelled just like my future Pinterest board dream life. Period. Worth leaving the house score, eight out of 10. The record store was cute in theory. I expected chill, quaint vibes, but the entirety of Los Angeles and their mother decided today was the day to pick out some giant record discs in the year of streaming, and I've never felt so overwhelmed in my life. Was it worth leaving the house? Cons. Not one single person when giving the choice to go to Amoeba or stay home decided to stay home. Ugh. My favorite artist only had one record left. How can I imagine my pretend record wall with only one to choose from? Someone was absolutely crap dusting. Um, pros. The Jennifer Coolidge candle reminded me to rewatch one of my favorite TV shows and snicker to myself while I quote her lines all night. I got to live out my 11 year old Tumblr dreams of walking into a record store and holding up a vinyl in front of the camera for the internet. A record player is now 100% going on my future home decor list, but strictly for the vibes because we all know 808s hit harder coming out of a first generation iPhone speaker than an 1800s as device. Worth leaving the house score? Four out of 10. point being outside has gone on for far too long but we are starving so we must eat again i've been seeing the korean corn dogs online for over a year now so we're like you know what we gave them a try was it worth leaving the house cons deciding what to eat in la is like deciding what hand to cut off when asked i don't like any of these options i'll never eat another mozzarella stick in my life as eating three of the world's largest mozzarella sticks was more than enough. I now have an addiction to Perrier because I was not about to drink a Dasani water. I know all of you saw that acidity test, okay? Pros. The hot Cheeto one paired with a cookies and cream donut rocked my world for the greater good. The only non-American food within 15 minutes from my house is Taco Bell. So this was a fun change. My blood sugar was spiked just enough to give me the energy to get on the freeway back home without the dread and tears in my eyes of exhaustion. Worth leaving the house score, six out of 10. 
in conclusion overall this was fun i had a great time but a d minus tells me i'm gonna be sitting at home with my cozy blanket wrapped around me comfort bonnet secured to my forehead watching law and order svu for the next few weeks minimum so <laughs> what do you guys think is leaving the house worth it in 2024 thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe maybe even leave a comment bye